Hi, my name is Hatem, and this is going to be a tutorial specific for the program Adobe Flash. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pencil tool, because uh, apparently I'm one of the few people who actually use that to clean up and to draw in Adobe Flash. I'm going to focus on the pencil tool and going to show you guys a few styles and tips and tricks you can do with it. Uh, so I've gone ahead and drew a potential animation frame. You, maybe you see it already, it's, it's Saitama from One Punch Man. And after I drew the rough sketch, I made a new layer to draw the, the, the cleanup. And when I start cleaning, I first establish a scene. So what are my primary light sources? Are there warm colors, cool colors? What's the mood in the place? So am I creating a dark scene or is it like a happy scene so if it's a happy scene I will probably choose brighter colors if it's a really grim scary scene I would probably choose darker colors so all these things they affect which colors I'm gonna choose and it starts with the line color I don't really like using black as a line color anymore because uh, it just stands out way too much so typically in most of my scenes I, I, I choose a, a a darker red but if you're very patient you can even choose uh, particular line colors for particular objects so if your skin is I don't know a bit orangish you, you can pick a line color orange but I'm not that patient so I'm just gonna go with a darker red so to ensure we can use the paint bucket tool to fill things we have to close gaps so whenever I close a gap I intersect the lines very very clearly. This is so I can select the crossing path by holding control and selecting it. And I either delete it or I use it for my next line. So if you um, click the end of the line, you can actually drag the line and use it. I've set up my buttons on my Wacom Bamboo Pen actually to backspace because I select them all the time and then I delete them afterwards when I'm cleaning. So you'll be doing this very often if you're gonna use this way of cleaning up. And one way to look at the open gaps when it's not very clear is to go to your layer and you see this color. And if you click on that color, you go to a sort of a wireframe mode. And um, these wireframe modes are uh, extremely thin. So if you zoom in, they stay thin and you can easily pick out the, the, the gaps. So uh, that's one way of finding the gaps if you're, you're unclear and a different way is to go to the paint bucket tool and there's this option to close small gaps or medium gaps I usually don't use this because I don't like the way it looks after you uh, fill in with the paint bucket tool it, it just leaves these really open gaps so one thing you should keep in mind when you're using the close medium gaps or small gaps is it's dependent on how far you're zoomed in so if you go all the way to 25 percent and you use the close large gaps it works but if you're going for 400 percent or maybe 200 percent and you try it again it doesn't work so it's dependent on how how much you're zoomed in after you traced your rough sketch and colored your drawings, you can add shadows. And the way I do that is by picking a very bright color I haven't used yet. Um, I usually just go with bright red for my pencil tool and start drawing the outlines of my shadow. So be sure to close any gaps here as well. After you're done drawing the outlines, fill in the shadows with your preferred color. I recommend not only choosing a darker value, but also a slightly different color and perhaps even a slightly less saturated uh, color to give it a cooler look. And the last step is to remove the red lines from your drawing, and that's pretty easy. Simply double click a red line and every connected red line will be selected. So make sure they are all connected in some way. It doesn't matter how, you can literally just scribble all over your drawing with the red pencil tool and select it and hit the backspace button to delete it. 
Okay, so I didn't really use that method to remove red lines when I was drawing Saitama, but it does save you some time. With Saitama, I just deleted the red lines as I went. So I wanted to ask you guys if there's anything you want to see in my tutorials. I have a few things I have planned out for later tutorials, but I'm not sure if you guys are interested in more flash specific things or animation in general. Um, if there is something specific you guys want to see, please let me know in the comments below and I'll include them. Okay, so if you're done with this, um, there's a few things you can do to improve it. Or it depends on your style, of course. One thing is um, creating an outline. So if I copy the whole drawing on a separate layer and paste it in place. And I change the, the stroke color to about, I don't know, four. You get this nice um, outline, so a thicker outline. A different thing you can do is uh, actually changing the width of the line art. So say about three, and that's a bit too much. Maybe two. Two looks okay. Um, you can even go lower than one. So if I zoom in and it's like one looks like this, and then maybe point six. Point six looks like this. Okay, I think you can all go all the way up to point one, and you can really clearly see if you go to like eight hundred. This does not look good but nobody zoomed in all the way, especially not at every frame. It's an animation. So they will see this for like a 12th of a second. If you make a frame last a lot longer, I would like put in more time. But if, if it's an animation and goes by really, really quickly, um, and you don't have the manpower, I wouldn't waste my time on it, to be honest. Um, a different style is if you go to the style of your line art and choose ragged. Ragged looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like this. And you can even combine it with the previous method of uh, outlines. So if I do the outline thing again, just in place. creates this kind of look. Uh, it all depends on you. See what you like. Play around with it. Have fun. One other thing I do to complete the scene is uh, using a painted background. So that's what I usually see in anime uh, videos. So I kind of copy that. Um, Let's see if I can find one. I'm just gonna use this one. So I I paint these backgrounds in Photoshop really quickly and I'm really not the the guy to make a tutorial about that because I'm terrible at it. But let me put it in. looks okay oh no where's my outline this layer. okay so I actually imagine his cape moving and flowing through the wind um, that's about the style I was going for uh, I hope this was interesting for you guys and hopefully I'll see you in the next tutorial okay take care